So guys, baby number two is officially on the way. Baby number two is here. Um, I don't want to clap. Not here, not here. Oh, almost, almost. Okay, sorry, sorry, guys. Two on the way. At least, like, confirm. Like, we're, yeah, like, in we're the last trimester. No, almost. baby. We have, like, a month we're, left, a week left, right? We're in the second trimester. But, like, we have a week left, right? Or two weeks left? No. You said six months soon, right? Yes. But the... T- okay, we're starting over. We're starting over. We're not starting over, too. We're not going to have it. Okay. Don't put it as BTS Let's yeah. see. Okay. Like, what? All right, guys, we are officially expecting baby number two. Definitely pregnant. Big deal. Yeah. Um, we are five months now. There we go. There we go. We are five months. Five months. Um, and counting is going by extremely fast. And I just literally just can't believe I'm having another baby. Yeah. Um, you guys watching this, you guys may be shocked because of how painful <laughs> the first and one dramatic was. we were about the first one. Connor insert the B-roll. You yeah, know me, no, right? dead ass. Like, um, but no, tell, tell the audience how this happened, <sighs> you know? Okay, and, so first of all, my um, disclaimer is that I definitely said that I never wanted to give birth again. Um, and I will say this, so I recorded it, I had it on film of like, yo, that was terrible, I'm gonna keep playing my birth video to remind myself how terrible this is, I never wanna go through it again. And I was gonna do it too. Yep, and he was too, and he told me, babe, we're never doing this again. Ever. So when, I don't know when it was, but it was like about the, Six, seven, eighth month mark mm-hmm. with the Laura seventh month mark. I just was like, like yeah, March. yeah, babe, I could do it again. Yeah, and I was like, no, I said <laughs> absolutely not. We are not doing that again. We're not doing this experience again. Like, yeah, I was so adamant against it, not having another child. But our plan was to like have a, a, a surrogate. surrogate. You know what I mean? Get a surrogate and have a baby that way because, like I said, it us was, as yeah. men, like I said, we can fix a lot of things, control a lot of things, but like. I think birth was the scariest thing for me because I saw her go through so much pain and there's physically nothing I could do to like save it. So I didn't want to be put in that situation again. I didn't want her to, you know, almost die again. So we we're going to go that route. And this disclaimer, I didn't almost die, but it was the closest to death that I'll ever be in my life. Like that's the saying about childbirth. And it genuinely was like close. Um, but we had agreed that we weren't going to do that again. So when I was saying that, he was like, okay, babe, like, I don't know what's gone into you, but no, that doesn't work for me. Let's go ahead and go through with the surrogacy process. If you're feeling like you want another baby, let's just figure that out. So around that time, um, I was having issues with my birth control. I had a copper ID, IUD and it was really like messing with my system. So the doctor was like, you need to take it out. And I told him, I said, sir, if I take this out, I'm gonna get pregnant. And the doctor laughed at me. He was like, relax, like, you know, it's it's gonna, yeah, he's like, it's just gonna be out for a few weeks. Um, You can do your, you know, surrogacy stuff, you know, get your your embryos checked, blah, blah, blah. Not embryos, but my eggs checked. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then we'll be fine, We'll, we'll throw it right back in. It's funny because I told Bae the same thing. It's not It's not going to happen. And she was like, yeah, let's just see how it is at the end of the month. And when my next appointment is, if I'm not pregnant, then we'll put it back in. But if I'm pregnant, then, then we're pregnant. That's the, Literally. This is the, you, you like, this is the only time. Yeah, we had a gap. A gap, you know what a I mean? A two-week gap to get pregnant um, naturally. And it wasn't even like we were like, let's get pregnant. It was like, we're not not trying. And we'll just kind of do our thing. Um, but I also told her that, like, if this happens, you're going to get pregnant. Yeah. Like, you're going to get pregnant. No, he did. And, and, and then and then even after she was pregnant, when she didn't know she was pregnant, I'm like... But pre- I also thought I wasn't pregnant. No, no, no. She so, really thought she was pregnant. I said, you're pregnant. She's like, I'm not. She took a test. It said not... Negative. It said negative, but we didn't, like, have sex afterwards. We, yeah. I'm like... We took a test too early. But, okay, let me get to my point. Okay, Anyways, <laughs> okay, so long story short, we went to LA. We did the egg testing. They literally are like, you have 13 on each side. You're good. They got swags, you know, stuff. Then they literally um, were like, we need your blood... Uh, drawn when you're on your cycle. So I'm like, cool, my cycle's in a week, I'll go home and I'll get my blood drawn when it's time. Literally didn't even make it to then, cycle never came. So I actually thought I was um, pregnant because I was feeling a little weird. So I took a test, it said negative. So I was like, whoop, maybe I'm just tripping. You know, my period just came back after having a baby. So maybe this is just gonna be like a, a rough month. Then um, when we went to Chicago, what happened in Chicago where, where I felt like I know, let's see if you remember. 
I don't know. I haven't no. shown you. Okay, either. Chicago is my best friend's 30th birthday, right? And obviously, I'm like, okay, I'm no longer pregnant. I'm going to turn up. We went to dinner, and I had a glass of wine and a drink, and I could not keep my eyes open. Oh, yeah, like, exhausted. I was like, I need to go back to the hotel. Yeah. It was I like 9 p.m. too. 9 p.m., y'all. Yeah. And then I get back to the hotel. We're supposed to change our clothes so that we can go out to the club and obviously, like, turn up because that was supposed to be, like, the pregame. So I know I hate going to the club, so I was not trying to do that whatsoever. But he was doing it for Courtney, period. No, for you. <laughs> and oh. you for Courtney. Okay. Not well, Courtney. I us, love you, Courtney. We were doing Not it for Courtney. Anyways, so I literally text her and I was like, I can't move. Like, I can't get up i can't turn up like it's just not gonna happen and she's like girl i get it like take a nap so i went to sleep um and then there was like some you know some spotting or whatever the next day so i was like oh okay cool like my period's coming but no my ass was pregnant real pregnant yeah i'm done mm -hmm. yeah yeah exactly so that's how you know <laughs> but it's also like it wasn't like a because some people may say if you had a week left from the time you went to L.A. to the time your period is going to come, why didn't you just wait? We could have waited, but there and was an I emphasis. And I also feel like that was too late to even fertilize an egg. But the doctor said yeah. that I my eggs fertilized late. Yeah. So technically, my ovulation period already passed. It wasn't until like five days later. Yeah, there was a but there was like a period of like, I guess at the time where like Bailey wanted to get pregnant. Like uh -huh. she was like, OK, I want to get pregnant. And if I don't get pregnant in time, I'm never getting pregnant again. Yeah. So it was like a not trying, but also like trying. technically trying thing. Um, but I also told her that I, I didn't say that. Did no, it? you did. He's did real cocky. If, if no, I he's say, real cocky. No, 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 no. I'm talking about that. Did I say oh, no. <laughs> like. If you get pregnant again, <laughs> I don't want to hear nothing. Oh yeah, no, he was rude. He's like, That's not rude. no, 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 it I was rude. Said, no, I told it was rude. You flat out, like, said, let's not do this he again. He said, I'm gonna tell you this right now. I hear what you're saying, and I'm gonna do it because you asked me to. But if you get pregnant, I don't want to hear no complaints from you. And I was like, what? I ain't say it like no, that. No, you did. You said it just like that. I was like, what? Why are no, you treating me this way? No, I'm, I'm a, if I'm a complaint, <laughs> but then I actually was like, no, babe, I won't complain. I'm gonna do really good this time. I did. I just said that. Yeah. And I've been doing good. It's been amazing. Yeah, it's been amazing. Um, but side note, mm -hmm. please tell them the process of uh, L.A. real quick. Oh, yeah. Because okay. that was insanity. Okay, he was for upset. The, I was I, very I wasn't gonna, upset. I wasn't going to bring it up because I didn't want to embarrass you. But let me tell That's you. That's not embarrassing. Let me tell you. It's annoying. So, <laughs> let me tell you guys. So we went to the surrogacy doctor and he's like giving us. First of all, he pissed Chris off in the middle of the meeting. because oh, start uh, it. Immediately. Please, please. No, no, no. No. Oh. Immediately. Immediately. Because. It was like, which I guess to a certain extent I can understand, but it was like. I'm going to blame the Johnny Depp, Amber, whatever. You remember that trial? Yeah, I remember the yeah, trial. Yeah, but yeah. you can explain the story. But, but like, the doctor is supposed to ask like regular medical questions. So he's asking me these questions like, you know, how many miscarriages, how many babies you have? How do you feel about this? And then it got into really personal. And he was like, how do you feel about this man? Meanwhile, Swaggy's sitting next to me. And I'm like, well, he's my husband. I feel really good about him. And he's like, well, are you sure that you want to do this with him? Do you want to make the embryos with him? Because I would suggest you just do your eggs and you keep his sperm separate because if you guys don't work out, this is really like uh, unfortunate process Literally. because you're gonna lose your eggs Literally. like he was going off and I was like oh this is really awkward and uncomfortable and I'm like well he's my husband so I would like to have babies with him he's she's just like yeah you feel that way now but if he's not your husband and you have another husband you're gonna be out of luck so swag is just sitting there and you know his blood is boiling like he was like so <laughs> mad um because he was just like are you kidding me right now? Like, this is supposed to be a happy process and yeah. you're literally encouraging her, you know, because he was like, well, let's just put your eggs down the middle. You have a lot. Let's do half with him and let's keep the rest like, for you. No. Just in case. Yeah, I said, yeah. no, we're not doing that. Like, I don't care. Like, I understand you got to ask her. She said no. Stop pressing 10 different questions. Yeah. 10 different ways to ask the question. She said no. She said me. Shut up. Let's move on. <laughs> it was a lot. Yeah. But so then, that wasn't even the bad part. But the second part, it got worse. So they're taking me. I'm doing, first of all, I'm doing all these tests. We're doing ultrasounds. We're doing blood pulling. We're doing all this. And so then they're like, hey, um, Mr. Williams, we need your sperm in a cup and swaggy loses his mind he loses i was so upset because <laughs> they said this is a consultation on like getting a surrogate nobody told me that oh they needed my sperm today like yeah. right now this moment. Like and then and then like they try to make me feel bad like yeah i mean you could do it right now since you're already here or you can come back in three four days when you know like maybe you guys change your mind maybe we may not be here and then like bailey started giving me like a little puppy dog eyes like babe can, you can do it today if you want to I and i felt we were, we were in la I and i'm like what pressured. if you leave yeah when i tell you this is the most uncomfortable thing you could possibly do in your life. Like, 
by far because it wasn't like oh i'm in some far off section of the place and then like i don't see nobody and i gotta bring no this was like i left the room there was like a whole like desk of like seven different women and then one man and then there was like a bathroom behind them and it said here's a cup go in there and then put your uh, sperm in there and then give it to us and mind you so i'm in the bathroom feeling weird as hell because I know literally when I open that door, there's like eight people just sitting there and it's probably normal to them. I felt so uncomfortable. I, I, when I tell you, I told me the same Didn't thing. Didn't they ask you if I you wanted like there. a magazine or Yeah, something? no, they had a magazine in there. Bro, mm -hmm. I sat there for 10 minutes reevaluating life for 10 minutes straight. Like, but, but did you use it? No, I didn't, oh, no, I didn't, okay. I didn't use the magazine. Okay. I did not use the magazine whatsoever. <laughs> literally, but I was so like, for 10 minutes I was like, you wow, use? This, is, this is embarrassing. Sorry. You said what? What do you use? watched our videos, videos. <laughs> that we made a week prior <laughs> screaming okay in no. vegas enough enough oh god my cheeks yeah. hurt okay. yeah no um beautiful that was that was so when i when i left the, the 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 bathroom i felt weird i had my mask on had my hoodie on and then i was like okay here boom bounce sign the check bounce i yeah, felt bad he was very upset at me very upset and he very had upset. an attitude for the very rest upset. of the day very upset. but long story short we have it in a cup frozen somewhere, yeah. hopefully. Yeah, um, But it doesn't matter because now I'm pregnant again. And at this point, I don't even know if we're going for a third child. Let's just get through. We're not because we can, we can say it too. I don't care. You want to say it? You can say no, it. No, no, no. We're not. Okay. We're, we're not, not. We're not. We're not. We'll save it for later. We're not going. But it, anyways, we're blessed to be welcoming our second baby into yeah, um, the Spitely household. Absolutely. Um, and also they say second babies are easier. So I'm hoping that this birth is easier. I've been working out. I've been, you know, doing a lot more than I did the last pregnancy. Cause I was just so scared to move. Cause I didn't want to miscarry. But this time it's like, okay, I got my handle on things. I did not expect to have two of them under two. Um, they're literally like 16 months apart, About 17 months apart, yeah, 16, 17 yeah. months brother, apart. Yeah. Um, and I'm just blown away of like, who thought of this but obviously i did so i can't even be mad yeah but i do see like a lore like around the house like whether it's with me or you or our nanny and like she's like playing but she's by herself but then yeah. when she sees a kid her age like we took her to the music thing today or you know we was in dubai she saw that kid she her face like she up. wants to play so she she's going to be happy with the sibling yeah she's sure. very active she's very independent but she's also very active so anyways we're definitely excited to be walking, welcoming another baby into the fold, and we're going to keep you guys updated, but we just wanted to give you, like, the story of how we knew, um, but it was almost like every time I get pregnant, I know immediately that I'm immediately, pregnant, immediately. and I felt it, but I think I felt it too early this time, but that's how you know. Like, I was like, I feel like I'm pregnant. I'm going to take a test. Oh, but quickly, let me tell you how I told him just before we end this. Um, I took the test. It was negative. Then, obviously, like... I would spot it and then my period didn't come. So I took another test, but I didn't think it was going to be positive. So I took it, put it in my drawer, went to tennis, right? Told my friends at tennis, like, yeah, bitch, I might be pregnant, but we're going to see because I have a test in the drawer. Came back, Swag was out of town, opened it and it said pregnant. And I took three more, of course, because I had to make sure. And then I was going to do like a cute surprise him thing, but then he always gets irritated because he's like, no, I need to know immediately. So I just FaceTimed him and I told him. Yeah, I was in, um, a, I was in uh, LA, actually. I talked with Connor and shooting. Yeah. I forgot what was the shoot. We were shooting something. And uh, yeah, I was in the car driving. Yeah, I was in the car driving. Yep. Yeah. And then, yep, so, such as that. So that's how <laughs> I knew. I knew immediately. My body told me, but it was just like such a wild ride. Yeah. But um, yeah, if you guys have any questions on uh, this experience or what we yeah. have you know, coming up the next few months, let us know in the comments. Other mm -hmm. than that, uh, we love you. I have nothing to say. Yeah. Happy to share the news. And, and we'll talk you, to you soon. Later.